Howdy, 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 everybody. I am Gomer the Ranting Thespian, and, uh, hey, update vlog. Uh, I'm gonna try and do these at least once a week. Uh, I'll probably go up on a Monday or Tuesday or whatever. Uh, whatever time I happen to have available for this thing. Um, just some things I'm working on. Um, I think as you have probably have seen, the Mega Man 6, um, redo has started at, by this point. Uh, I think, what time is it? Yeah, number two should be up by now. Uh, definitely by the time this is up. <laughs> um... There's that. Uh, I'm still going to work on the uh, Mega Man DOS games as well at some point, and also some extra material for Super Fighting Robot and Revenge of the Fallen. Um, Revenge of the Fallen, I've got like an hour's worth of material to work with in terms of finding all those hidden items and everything, which, um, which with the way I with the way I tend to do things, uh, I, I record like a whole shit ton right off, you know, at once. So, uh, <laughs> so sometimes they'll, somebody will make suggestions and, and I'll be like, well, I've already thought of that. <laughs> but, you know, that's okay. Um, you know, because that's how it happens, really. Um, also, as, as you're seeing here, my, my, my mostly matching my title card getup, um, the reason I say mostly is because I'm in Florida. Florida's fucking hot. I overheat when I do these things anyway. I think wearing the overcoat might be might might be murder for me right now. Um, I, I don't know unless I can like turn my room into an ice box or something. I, I don't see it happening. Uh, at least not. At least not in the foreseeable future. Yeah, like everybody's worried about that, right? <laughs> um, let's see. What are, uh, Game Dev Tycoon. I'll be working on more of that soon. Um, uh, and, and, and of course, I do. I do take some requests within reason. Um, if you're a Patreon supporter, you get first pick. Uh, you, it's basically like a patrons come first, um, and then everybody else. I think the only exception is a game developer, like, like say, oh, you know, like, like say Toby Fox is like, hey, I'm working on a new game. I saw you like my game Undertale. Here you go, give it a shot. You know that sort of thing. Um, that that's the only type of person that has priority over my patrons is because it's you know. They use, and usually when they do something like that, it's usually like beta testing or, or something like that. Um, it, as of this video, it hasn't happened yet, but I do want to put that out there and I do want to make it a thing, you know, nip that in the bud. Like, yeah, that's the only um, category of people that would potentially watch my videos that I would have priority over my patrons. Um, it, 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 you know, it's a very, very rare case. Um... Yeah, and even then, I'd probably I, I'd end up vetting and everything, and be like, wait, you know, because this is the internet. <laughs> you never know who's gonna try and hoodwink you or anything. I don't think they would, but you know, in all honesty, but you know, covering my bases. Uh, speaking of Patreon, um, I think I mentioned it on an episode of Thespian Talk, but uh, I may have mentioned it in a vlog too. But just in case I haven't, hello phone. Um, I am on a monthly. You know, I am a monthly thing now, uh, mostly for scheduling purposes. <laughs> That way I can do, like, if I do, like, a shit ton and it bleeds over into the next month, no big deal. Um, because I like to be, I like to be paid for the month that each thing goes live. Like, um, the Mega Man 5 redo run was a perfect example. Um, I, I, I had meant to have the last ones up in December. Obviously that didn't happen thanks to driving job. But, um, I didn't put them up in November because, well, I wanted to be paid for them in December. And because that's when they're going up. <laughs> So, you know, that's that's how I work things. Um, but with it being monthly, scheduling will, will be a little bit easier to handle and all that. I could just get things up over to my patrons as they upload. And and then, of course, schedule them on YouTube and just leave it be. <laughs> um, uh, speaking of, uh, you know, uh, uploading for patrons and everything, um, I for the past few months, I have been using a, a web service... That, that I think I think it's a uh, Green Geeks that's like for like 150 or so for three years which is a good deal uh, the only part problem is and I didn't realize it at first maybe if I'd read everything I might have realized it I don't know but uh, they don't like it when you archive your your shows on their on their space because it's like you know even though you have an infinite amount of space they don't want you to use it because of some kind of web connectivity traffic or whatever I don't know um, but, uh, but for now, I'm going to be uploading, like, especially, you know, stuff for the patrons, and I'm going to work it out to where the podcasts can be downloaded easily through Dropbox, if I can. Uh, if not, I'll find somewhere else for them to grab it easily. 
uh, ease of grabbing, mainly for uh, iTunes. <laughs> uh, so, so if you're watching this video and archives are down or whatever, that's why. <laughs> um, because goddamn it, Green Geeks. Um, but uh, but you know, with that little thing aside, I mean, it's not bad. Just and and if you go to the site I'm I'm tinkering with uh, through Green Geeks, uh, RTGProductions.net, uh, you'll notice that pretty much all everything has been like taken down so far. I'm working on restructuring it again uh, because I just simply I simply wasn't too satisfied with it. Um, oh, what else is there? What else is there? Um, 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 um. Oh, uh, you know a little bit more about uh, like I said, Patreon is monthly. I kind of went off on a track there. Um, you know, and, and of course you get everything early. A uh, couple of levels you get some um, you know uh, suggestion perks. Uh, like I said, the only thing, the only, the only people, the only type of person that would be above a patron would be an actual game developer themselves who are working on a game and want me to test it out and show it off. So they're the only ones. Um, otherwise, you're a patron at I think it's like, I want to say it's like five or ten dollar levels. Then you can do the thing. Now, if you now if you actually notice, look at my patron Patreon rather. Uh, I haven't brought it up much, but I do have a used to be a fifty dollar level, but now I think it's a twenty dollar level for the uh, monologue slash dramatic reading level. And two reasons why I'm doing that. Number one, uh, I needed something to put between you know the requests and the ad space, which is always going to be I'm always I always going to have it at twenty five. Just <laughs> probably won't lower it, likely won't raise it. It's just going to be twenty five, and that gets you ad space. Every one of these videos, you if you've been watching and keep watching, you'll, you've seen it go up now lately since one person who has been there at that level throughout all of this uh, finally has something I can advertise, <laughs> uh, which is which is awesome. Um, uh, hope by this as of this video, she's only got the one, but hopefully hopefully she'll have something else up soon. I hope eh, because it's it's pretty good. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, but yeah, not only that, you get like a little ad blurb on uh, on each of my podcasts, at, usually at the front of the show, and then uh, you also get ad space like on my sites and everything. Uh, both the main site that I point everybody to, rtgomer.com, that also extends to the Emporium, I think. I think I've got it set up on the Emporium. If not, I'll make sure it's there. Um, and of course, the site that I'm tinkering with, uh, rtgproductions.net. Um, uh... If I can find a way to set it up on the YouTube channel, I will. Uh, if not, then, you know, <laughs> it's set up everywhere else and seen at the end of every video. So, you know. Um, uh, yeah, I think... Uh, oh, right. Um, monologues and um, dramatic readings. I, I do kind of want to go into details about that a little bit. Uh, monologues, I kind of want to keep my practice up. And the difference between that and a dramatic reading, monologue, I'll sit there, I'll practice for a bit. Um... You know, get some inflections going. You know, you know, put put some good effort into it. Dramatic reading. Well, we all know what a dramatic reading is. <laughs> uh, but for those who don't, um, for those who are new and don't know what a dramatic reading is, it's basically you give me something that is just batshit insane. You know, and then I will, and then I will read me read it in some of the most dramatic voices ever. You know, and then it could be anything from uh, just an actual speech from some but hurt whiny religious fundamentalist to some really horrible fan fiction. Um, I do have to have a limit on it though because they do take time to actually record and, and in the case of monologues practice and, and to get uploaded and everything. So you know can't can't be too awful long so no my immortal. <laughs> uh, so we, we can't do my immortal unfortunately. Um, at least not for a Patreon perk. I might I might if if I get a wild hair up my ass I might and, and I'm using my immortal as the example, but but uh, uh, but I don't pay too much attention to fan fiction that much nowadays. <laughs> so you know, insert your own you know hilariously so bad it's good example here, I suppose. Um, I think. Um, okay, few. Oh, and um, I'm gonna. I'm okay, okay. Actually, gonna leave Patreon stuff aside now. We're not going to come back to it, as far as I know, except for the end. A um, few things that I've been working on in terms of just general stuff, stuff that I'm planning. Um, 
come next month, um, I do want to start working a little bit more on games in my Steam library. Uh, I've got a Saints Row 4 video coming out rel relatively soon. I've just got to I just got to get it uploaded. Uh, I'll probably upload that at the same time as the first Game Dev Tycoon video, which, uh, as I say in the video, I was inspired to start on that thanks to Jacksepticeye. Um, I did get it for my birthday back in 2014, and at the time I thought, eh, there's no way we can make this a good thing or, you know, make this a thing or whatever, but uh, Jack's showing me wrong. <laughs> uh, so, you know, it, it's... I, I, I have fun. I do have fun with all of this. Um... I'm just, I, I do want to learn, I do want to try and be a little bit more expressive when I'm playing my games, especially with the face cam now. <laughs> I mean, when I'm not on face cam, I, I can actually get away with just going like, or whatever. Okay, I don't go, but you get the idea. Um, uh, let's see. I do want to, I do want to try and do a few more Happy Wheels videos, uh, if at all possible. Because <laughs> those are fun, and, um, might actually build another level or two just to show off to you guys, because um, that'd be great. Um, oh, okay, okay, I, 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 I misspoke and lied and all that when I said I wouldn't go back to Patreon, because there's one thing I do want to mention. I've mentioned the goals. I mention them at the end of every video, and, um, I'll, and I'll just segue this into the end. This will be the last thing I talk about this week. Uh, but in terms of goals, my lowest one right now is just basically get these to pay for themselves. I've set it at 100 bucks because, honestly... 100 bucks pretty much will do it at this point um i've re i recently upgraded my camera i've recently upgraded my headset my uh well my microphone is but maybe a year old um so it's not like we're it's not like i'm in dire need of new equipment yet and so you know, saving saving aside 100 dollars a month or whatever for whatever i might need in terms of this should be plenty for me at least for right now <laughs> Um, and then, of course, there are other ones where, you know, I can get to do this, to do this more part-time and not have to look for full-time day job work. And then eventually full-time and then do it full-time anywhere and be able to do con appearances more often, you know, and not have it hamper whether or not I eat that month, you know? <laughs> I mean, and, and to be fair, that highest one can be taken care of with some good money management. Um, but honestly, you know, uh, you know, if I make the goal of, like, um, I want to say 10 to 1500 a month, whatever it's, whatever it is on the Patreon, um, that would be more than enough for me to live on, um, depending on where I go, I mean, definitely around here, you know, housing is cheaper, uh, I do, I do want to get to Chicago, and, you know, 10 to 1500 around there, around there, around Indy, you know, seems, seems to be okay, um, so, but that's, that's my overall long-term goal. Right now, let's just get this to where these things can pay for themselves. <laughs> uh, and then, and you know what? That'll be great. Um, so, yeah. With all of that said, do... Yes, phone. I'll talk to you later, phone. Uh, with all of that said, thank you guys for watching and listening to me ramble for the last, oh, uh, how many minutes? 13 or, t or so minutes. <laughs> Oh, uh, and, uh, and honestly, thank everybody who's, uh, like, subscribed and liking and commenting. Thank you. Seriously. Really thank you. Um, it, it does mean a lot to me. Um, you know, people are watching and paying attention and, and at least potentially being entertained, I hope. <laughs> um, I actually, I actually found, you know, there's actually a guy going back watching through my Pokemon Quartz videos, and I'm like, wow, those are old. <laughs> oh... So yes, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoyed me rambling on for the past 10-15 minutes. Uh, if you do like it, hit the like button, hit, hit a subscribe button if you want to subscribe and get more of these lovely videos. Um, and, and I think I will work on like a dramatic reading video, just just to kind of get it out there and and to show, hey, I do these and, and, and all of that. So, um, so look forward to that as well. Um, and uh, let's see. Uh, if you want to find more of my stuff, go to rtgomer.com. I'm also on nerdvice.com. I'm trying to update there more often than what I have. Um, but, uh, you know, just different things end up happening. Uh, it's it's nobody's fault but mine on this one. <laughs> um, uh, let's see. And uh, podcasts. Uh, there was no thespian talk this past week. Eh, it just kind of fell apart. Uh, I blame it on, on Con Weekend. 
no, 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 no. It, it's just one of those. Sometimes, some weeks, it's just boom, whatever. Um, oh, and before I go, I keep remembering things. What the hell? I need to be more organized in these. Um, uh, I am looking for uh, guests to bring on to Thespian Talk every now and then. Um, outside of, you know, patrons that happen to be at that level. They will they will have that option. They will have the priority. Um, but I'm looking for guests. And, and, and not just people. It's basically people who are also fellow producers. Um, you know, things of that nature. Um, people who have been previously... Who have previously been guests on my show also, you know... Um, I know a few of them have expressed interest in being a guest on the show again. Uh, Miss Nightmare... Uh, has one has been one uh steve the wicked also <laughs> uh I, I think iron bite has at one point uh those are the three that i could think of right now oh and and the cartoon hero as well uh, which by the way if you haven't watched this stuff uh, go watch it uh he and in and, and, and he's not that hard to find i mean he comments on almost every video nowadays <laughs> he's good people he's, he's good people go check him out um but yeah so uh, if you got a suggestion for somebody you want me to try and get on the show or whatever, I do have some people I would like to get on, and, and I'm not going to mention it because I don't know if they'll see this and they'll be like, oh, shit, I've got to do it now. I don't want to make them feel like they have to do it because I mentioned them in a video. <laughs> and I also don't want to mention them in a video and they'll be like, ah, I don't think I can do it, and then I have egg on my face, so, you know. Uh, so, okay, running along, I'm rambling way too much. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, this is Gomer the Ranting Thespian, signing off.